Hello everybody. These are some of the books I've uh, acquired over the last two weeks. And uh, here we go. I'll try to be as quick as possible with these. First is uh, The Inkle by Jodorowsky, John Jaton, and Mobius. Um, this is number one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and uh, 12. Now, uh, Mobius is credited in the comic, uh, but I don't think he draws any of these. These take place before Inkhal, and I think if you find them in paperback or trade, they will be as they'll be titled before Inkhal. And the original book was Inkhal by Jodorowsky and Mobius, and this takes prior to that. And then there's another book called After Inkal. and uh, but this completes a series of uh, well, the reprints of this wonderful storyline and I got all these all together for inexpensive price and another treat that I got was this book here Finder um, this is a rather fascinating little book I've been looking through it and uh, the writer I forget her name Carla Speed McNeil. She wrote and drew this wonderfully bizarre book. I've been reading it and with the ink all. It's wonderfully imaginative. They both create stupendous worlds. Now the ink all is quite more decadent. But nevertheless, this one's equally as pleasurable. So is issue number one, two, three, Four. Apologize for the glare. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 31, 32, 33, and 34. I'm missing a few issues, so I don't think this is complete, but I got all these together at, again, a very cheap price. But I'm looking forward to reading this series, continue reading it, and by chance I'm reading with the Incog. Can't go wrong with that. Wonderful stories. Um, this I got for five dollars. Number James. Number James number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and uh, 14. Uh, and I seem to be missing one of the issues, but that's okay. And um, I think Sleepy Reader recommended this book indirectly. He likes this book, and I like the books that he likes for the most part. Um, but again, for $5, I got all these, so that's pretty good. Um, now, Lumberjanes, I guess it's aimed at children, but the stories... Um, um, I think an adult will appreciate as well. But again, when I was young, I read everything. If I could get my hold on it. And one of the things I got a hold of was Heavy Metal Magazine. And um, I ordered some issues recently. Of, so I have some gaps in my collection, so I'm going to have doubles. And um, this is one of the sets that I ordered. This is from July 83. Any issues from Heavy Metal from the founding in the 70s to the mid 80s, if you get them, if you see them, I would just buy them. They're extraordinary. Uh, this is Rand Xerox by Liberatore. If I had to do a top 10 comic book series, I would include this one easily. Um, this is November 83. October 84. All the grades are in these. Creepax, Monera, Liberatore, Mobius. The usual suspects of Heavy Metal Magazine. Um... I think Corbin is not in any of these particular ones, but of course Richard Corbin um, was in many of the early issues. This is August 84, July 84, March 84, and April 84. So I have now doubles of these, but again I got these rather cheap, and you can't go wrong with these issues. Not at all. Now, to add to the collection, also um, last week, I got all these for $12. These are all first prints. $12 at one of the local bookstores. They all had them, and I said, can I get them all together? They said, sure. How much? 12 bucks. Fine. And they are the Saga series, which I have not read, but I've heard a lot of good things about. Issue number two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'll cover. Um, ten, eleven, twelve. Gravity. Sorry, Manon and Fantomas. Um, Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27, oh, and 28. So I guess I need now is 29, issue number one, which is not going to be a problem getting, I don't think. A reprint, I mean. I understand that issue number one is very expensive, but nevertheless, I got these rather expensive, as you can see. And uh, finally, the last things I got this last week was Will Eisner Archives, Volume 2. I think this is the second, the third, <sighs> let me rephrase that. As many of you know, much better than I do, Eisner went into the war. And this reprints his work from January 5th to the 29th of 41. And then I think from all, volumes 3 or 4 of the archives, he did very little, if any, of the work. And it isn't until much later archive issue, archive editions, which are collected, that um, when he returned. So I ordered this, and I found these also at one of the local bookstores. Um, I read poetry, and uh, this is by Vicente Alexandre, 
He is a Spanish poet um, early in the century. I think he was better well known during the Spanish Civil War. This is Poesia and Prosa and Biography. It's uh, poetry, prose, and biography. Along with that are poems by him, Espadas como labios, which are swords like lips, and La Destrucción o el Amor, Destruction or Love. And of course, love, that's what usually leads one into wonderful, blissful destruction. And um, paperback, Revenge of the Lawn by Richard Brodigan. When I was in college, uh, a friend of mine kept trying to get me to read him, uh, Brodigan, but I didn't pay any attention to him. Now I've been reading his stories, and they're quite fun. I uh, really enjoy it. And this is a nice little paperback. And uh, finally, a biography of Robert Jackson. Uh, by Eugene Gerhardt. I got this in the clearance section at one of the bookstores and for a dollar or two. And I've been looking for this because Jackson was the prosecutor, the American prosecutor during the Nuremberg trials. And like many uh, of you, you've seen Judgment at Nuremberg and where Spencer Tracy is one of the judges. And it's a wonderful film with Tracy, uh, Burt Lancaster, Judy Garton, Montgomery Cliff was a supreme uh, screenplay by Abby Mann. And I've been enjoying this very much, certainly uh, when he's cross-examining some of the Nazi... Uh, there's 20 people that are being tried here. Um, and it's just wonderfully fascinating. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So, as you can see, I've got my little markings here. And this is when Jackson is cross-examining um, Albert Speer. And it's interesting reading, doing this, The In Call, and uh, that other book. Where did I put it? Let's see. Reading The In Call and Finder. Finder. With In Call. They all read well together, actually. All right. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day.